Saint Stephen was a holy man endued with heavenly might, and many wonders he did work all in the people's sight. And by the Holy Spirit of God, which did his heart inflame, he spared not in every place to preach God's holy name. O oh man, do never faint nor fear when God the truth should try. But mark how Stephen, for Christ's sake, was a willing for to die. Before the elders he was brought his answer for to make. But they could not the spirit withstand whereby this man did speak. When this was told the multitude, behold in him a light, his comely face began to shine most like an angel bright. O oh man, do never faint or fear when God the truth shall try. But mark how Stephen, for Christ's sake, was a willing for to die. Then Stephen did put forth his voice, and he did first unfold the wondrous works which God hath wrought in for their fathers old, that they thereby might plainly know Christ Jesus should be he that from the burden of the law should quit them frank and free. O oh man, do never faint nor fear when God the truth shall try. But mark how Stephen, for Christ's sake, was a willing for to die. Then no quote be you wicked men, which of your fathers all did not the prophets persecute and keep it woeful small. When they heard him so to say, upon him they all ran, and there without the city gates they stoned this holy man. O oh man, do never faint nor fear, when God the truth shall try, but mark how Stephen, for Christ's sake, was a willing for to die. Then he most meekly on his knees to God did pray at large, desiring that he should not lay their sin unto their charge, and yielding up his soul to God, who had it dearly bought. He lost his life, whose body then to pray for singing Lord. O oh, man, do never faint nor fear when God the truth shall fly. But mark how Stephen, for Christ's sake, was willing for to die.